Hey guys, great to see you, Joe here, and thank you very much for joining me for another lesson. So all the usual stuff applies. If you find the video helpful, please click on that subscribe button, that really does help me, or the like button. If you do the social media thing, then feel free to share the links far and wide. Anybody looking to check out all my previous material can do so at my website, which is kind of a little bit better organized than my YouTube channel. And for anybody looking to support me and help me continue on making my videos, then I'll put a link down below to my Patreon page. Okay, so now that all that's out of the way, this week's lesson is a song called Willie May, which you just heard me play there. And it's a great little blues number, okay? And there's not going to be any need for any tabs or anything with this one. I'm going to really break it down into some depth so you can just kind of learn all these little sections and put them together. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, the breakdown. First thing you need to know is the bass line, which goes six, five, 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 five. Then we add the melody. Slide from 5 to 7 on the 2nd string, all melody up the neck is played on the 1st and 2nd strings, so we can just be clear about that. We have a slide on the B string, 2nd string, from 5 to 7, then we play the 1st string, 5th fret, and then we play both the E and the B, 1st and 2nd strings. At this stage, the E string is on the 8th fret. The B string is on the 7th. So we have... Then the, this finger comes off second time. So we have... On with the 3rd finger. And then off. Now we add the bass to the melody. Next thing we need to learn is sliding into the A. Bar the bottom four strings of the first fret. We're never playing the first string when we play in this A position, okay? Now, bass is just A when we're in A, which makes sense, yeah? So we have. doing here is we're plucking the second and third strings on the first fret we're sliding and as we slide the A comes into the bass then we play the third string then we play an open third string and hammer on first fret okay so we have an E7 okay so this second finger is playing the fourth string second frets so we have and then the pinky plays the seventh which is the third fret second string an open E so we have open third string hammer on bass open E second string third fret and then we go back to our slide in A so we have one more time then you can add that little pinky on the fifth fret first string should you wish to so now we have repeat then we go back to our E position ok 
okay, third string open with a hammer on and then an E in the bass. Then we go to an E7 position here, which is like a D7 moved up two frets. Essentially, second string, third fret, and first and third strings on the fourth fret, okay? So we're only in this E position for a very short while second time round. to think about for your bass here is E. And when you're in this E7 position, all you're doing is you're plucking first and second strings and then pulling off on the first. Yeah? So it's between the first and second strings. with the bass going. Then we go to our original riff. Then we go back to the slide A. And then we come into this other little figure which plays Okay, and essentially we're just back with our original bass line, which is... And what we do is we play the first string on the 8th fret, sliding to the 9th. Playing the second string on the 10th, along with the bass. So you're looking for that. Then it goes to the 14th fret, first string. Then the 13th fret, second string. And then back to the first string, 12th fret. So you have. First string, second, first, first. So that whole thing is. to original lick. That's slide in A. Okay, so I hope that that helps you in some way. And so if I was to give some tips on how to go about practicing this, then I would just suggest that you break down each little part like I did in the tutorial. Work on getting the notes first of all. Then look to try and get that timing nice and solid because really that is what makes a lot of these kind of uh, bluesy things sound good. So do concentrate on the timing and try and get that as solid as you can. And thereafter just concentrate a little bit on the technique, you know, the slides and the shimmies and all the little bits in between, yeah? And, and you should be good to go and hopefully you'll have some fun learning this one. So as I say, thanks for joining me. If you found it useful, please subscribe and I look forward to seeing you soon.